Hi everybody, I'm Kevin Monahan, longtime Final Cut Pro editor and trainer, and I'm here today with Carl Soule. Carl. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for being here. I really have a lot of questions for you. Um, today, what I want to ask you about is just a, a few basic editing tips. Sure. Um, like for instance, how would I insert or override a clip into the timeline? Just some real basic stuff. Oh, okay. There's uh, you know a number of different ways of doing this. Um, if I have an existing clip in my bin, like let's say I've got my uh, my source clip is loaded up here with a, a sequence, um, this is going to work based on the um, position of my time indicator here, my little scrub bar. So let's say I want to uh, insert a clip right at this point. Right. Um, so I don't need to lay an endpoint in if I don't want to. If you don't want okay, to. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, so what I can do from here with my source monitor selected, we have all the basic controls here for like JKL editing. So okay. I can go through and I can play this back. I can mark an endpoint. Right. I can uh, move forward here, mark an out point. Right. And from here, these two controls down here are labeled insert and overlay. Overlay? Yeah. Okay. Um, I have to get used to that one, but, but the, yeah. and also. I, I still sometimes even call it overwrite. You do? So, yeah. And also that one's not yellow and one's not red. That would, that would be cool. But as long as they work the way they're supposed to, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. So. so from an insert point of view, again, just uh, hit insert and it's going to make room and drop the clip right in there in my timeline. Uh, overlay, same idea. Okay. Boom. Um, okay. Drop it in. Now, also, from that same idea, if I'm working in the timeline and I need to maybe trim out a section of this clip, like maybe from here to the end of the clip, mm -hmm. uh, with the timeline selected, if I hit the I key, it's going to make a timeline in point in marker. Point. Right. And uh, again, I can choose an out point here. And right. at this point, we call the, the two commands are called lift and extract. So even though these icons are look very similar. Over on the left, they're insert overlay. On the right, it's lift and extract. And I know that extract from my Avid days is, in Final Cut terms, a, a ripple delete. So let's see how that works. Sure. Here's the uh, the lift command. So again, here are my in and out marks uh, up here at the top of my timeline here. So when I lift, it's going to leave the hole in the timeline mm -hmm. there. We'll go ahead and command Z that. Mm -hmm. And extract is going to, just like you said, ripple delete. It's going to remove the gap okay. um, and bring everything closer together. Okay, well that's cool, but I see that there's a, a clip on V2 over there. Now, how would I, because I know in Final Cut, I have to have my auto select buttons, those little gray buttons on the side, I have to have those set up just so, so I can lift or extract footage from a particular track. Now, how do I do this in Premiere? Uh, it kind of works the same way. Let me go ahead and get my uh, in and out markers here in this part of my timeline. Um, so this is going to depend on which tracks are selected here. So oh, you I notice see. here I'm turning on and off where I have video one, video two, mm -hmm. video three selected. So this is basically uh, how I control what those lift and extract oh, buttons are going to do. It's exactly like the auto select buttons. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. What about copy and paste? Now is that ruled by those buttons as well if I copy a clip from V1 and want to paste it onto V2? Yeah, that's going to work with these uh, with these controls as well. So I if see. I have uh, video three, I can leave this selected if I'm going to be moving a bunch of clips over. Mm -hmm. um, I could actually do like a multiple select here, um, go in and do a copy, move my timeline indicator, and when I hit Command V, it's going to paste them accordingly. I see. Is there a paste insert command too? Can I paste the clips and have them move down as well? Is that in the? I think there is. We're going to have to find that. <laughs> let's, let's find that. OK. Um, Perhaps in the edit menu it might be, yeah? Paste insert. Paste insert. So, so I can all I have insert. to do there, let me go ahead and uh, we'll just move this uh, so that we have video one selected. I've got mm -hmm. those same clips uh, copied. Mm -hmm. Move my timeline selector. And uh, we'll do it up here in the menu here. Paste insert. And boom. Cool. Awesome. Works just the way I wanted it to. OK. Um, now. Let's say I'm in here in the timeline and I want to take one of these clips, I just pasted, and I want to move it to a different place in the timeline. Now, how do I go about doing that? I know in Final Cut I can move it and have it close the gap, and I can also have it, you know, leave a gap where I where I moved it. So is there a way to do that? Yeah, this this one's a little tricky and it's based on uh, using the command key on the keyboard. Okay. So you'll notice the first thing I've got the clip selected here. So if I want to move this in. Uh, if I hold down the command key before I start dragging, you'll notice that I've got this special indicator on the timeline, and that mm -hmm. indicates that it's going to drop the clip in and it's going to push everything to the right from that clip. Okay. So I'll go ahead and let go of this now. Cool. 
and uh, it's gone ahead and uh, dropped that into position there. Um, if I, let me go ahead and go back to okay. this. If I take the clip and I start to drag it, okay. and I don't have the command key held down, mm -hmm. when I push in the command key, it mm -hmm. gives me that exact same tool, but now it's going to leave the gap in the timeline oh, Okay, here. You know, that's exactly like the way Final Cut works, except it's the option key. Okay. So I, I can see already that a lot of the things that I use in Final Cut are here, except for maybe the modifier key might be different or, or something like that. Slightly different. One of the ones that I use a lot is just the fact that, uh, you know, if I do have a gap here, it's just the delete key to remove the okay. gap. Okay, just so. like Final Cut, I can just select that gap and, and, and just hit the delete key and away it'll go. Goes. Is there a right click in there too I could do? Like, uh, like select the gap, right click it. And ripple delete. Oh, that's awesome, cool. Well, I think that's probably enough for today. That's a lot of stuff, so thanks a lot, Carl. All right, and thank you. Thanks for watching, everyone. All right, thank you. We got a lot more coming.